I'm Connor Mitchell, and this is Dudley Market, and we're in Venice Beach. First thing I'm gonna do when making any crudo is just start cutting fish. When I'm making a crudo, I always will follow a bloodline first, just so I can really get an idea of what I'm working with. Just enough bloodline in it, mostly white meat, no bones. I like to just cut at a nice little angle right against the grain. When I'm cutting crudo, I like my fish to be thin enough to be delicate without being too paper thin. So I got a little bit of room on my plate for some oil or some juices to pull up. California Olive Ranch olive oil is incredible for what it is. It's not too fancy, but it's really good. You're not dousing the fish. You're not making it swim in oil. I'm gonna get a nice lime juice going here. I like to get some juice right on the fish, but most of the juice I like to try to aim for the plate just because if you go right on top of the fish, you might not make a crudo fast enough before you're actually making ceviche. So then I take some good old Malden salt. It's powerful, but not the way like iodized salt is. I'm gonna start by adding nothing else but a bunch of lime zest. And if our audience likes it spicy, then we're gonna take our buddy Serrano here and slice them nice and thin. So not too many, because we're not trying to kill anyone here. But just kind of one on each type of a vibe. That, to me, is finished crudo.